Joe Biden and the defund the police Democrats have turned our once great cities into cesspools of bloodshed and crime. There's never been anything like it. Here's my plan to restore law and order in our cities and throughout our country, frankly. First, because police forces have been gutted by Democrats' war on police, I will sign a record investment in hiring, retention, and training for police officers nationwide. So important. This bill will also increase vital liability protections for officers because the Democrats want to take those protections away from our police because we want them to do their jobs, and we want them to do their jobs right. You can't take their protections away if you're going to have them do their jobs properly. Second, to qualify for this new funding and all other Justice Department grants, I will insist that local jurisdictions return to proven common-sense policing measures, such as stop and frisk. Very simple. You stop them and you frisk them. Strictly enforcing existing gun laws against convicted felons, cracking down on the open use of illegal drugs, and cooperating with ICE to get criminal aliens off our streets and get them out of our country. Third, we will go after the radical Marxist prosecutors who are abolishing cash bail, refusing to charge crimes, and surrendering our cities to violent criminals. They have surrendered like never before. I will direct the DOJ to open civil rights investigations into radical left prosecutors' offices, such as those in Chicago, L.A., and San Francisco, to determine whether they have illegally engaged in race-based enforcement of the law. I will also work with Congress to give the victims of their Marxist policies the right to sue local officials for harm and suffering, and it has been great that they have caused. If your small business is pillaged because shoplifting goes unpunished, if you're brutally attacked by a violent felon released without bail or bond, then you will be entitled to massive damages. Fourth, I will order the Department of Justice, or some people call it the Department of Injustice right now, and Homeland Security dismantle every gang, street crew, and drug network in America. Every single one of them will be dismantled. We already know where these turf wars and drug dens are. We know who the people are. And we're going to charge them and charge the culprits with every crime that we can find. We're going to be fair, but we're going to be tough. We also need the death penalty for drug dealers. So important. And I'd add to that human traffickers. Drug dealers and human traffickers, they get the death penalty. Watch it stop and stop quickly. Fifth, in cities where there has been a complete breakdown of law and order, where the fundamental right of our citizens are being intolerably violated, I will not hesitate to send in federal assets, including the National Guard, until safety is restored. If Nancy Pelosi would have accepted our National Guard or our soldiers, you wouldn't have had January 6th. But she and the mayor of D.C. didn't do that. Sixth, we will end the leftist takeover of school discipline and juvenile justice. Many of these carjackers and criminals are 13, 14, and 15 years old. I will order the Education and Justice Departments to overhaul federal standards on disciplining minors so when troubled youth are out in control, they're out on the streets, and they're going wild, we will stop it. The consequences are swift certain and strong, and they will know that. Seventh, I will protect the right of self-defense everywhere it is under siege, and I will sign concealed carry reciprocity. Your Second Amendment does not end at the state line. In addition, I will, of course, fully secure the border, dramatically increase interior enforcement, and wage war on the cartels. We have never had a border so secure as it was just two years ago and now, our border is the worst anywhere in the world, and possibly of all time. There's never been a country that allowed to happen what's happening in the United States right now, where millions of people are pouring across our borders. They come from mental institutions. They come from the prisons. They're all being let out so they can come into the United States. They're poisoning our country. We will also take back our streets from the homeless, the drug-addicted, and the mentally ill. 
I will discuss those plans in much more detail very soon. That is how I will bring back public safety to America. I want to thank you. We're going to make America great again, and we're going to make America safe again. Thank you.